वेलकम टू वी एल एस आई लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू कंपेरिजन ऑफ स्टेटिक एंड डायनेमिक सी मॉस इन दिस वीडियो सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट स्टेटिक सी मॉस देन इन इट्स स्टेटिक सी मॉस स्ट्रक्चर यू विल बी फाइंडिंग हियर वी हैव वी डी डी आफ्टर दैट वी हैव पुल अप नेटवर्क विच इज मेड अप ऑफ पी मॉस दैट कैन हैव के इनपुट्स then we have pull down network and this pull down network that is made up of n mos that can have k inputs this is connected to ground and here we take output so this is the basic structure which is there with static cmos as if we talk about dynamic cmos structure then here we have vdd after that we have pmos with gated clock then we have pull down network and in pull down network we have n mos with n with k inputs after that we have another gated clock n mos then we have ground over here and here we have output and there can be load capacitance cl over here so these are the basic structure which is there with static cmos and dynamic cmos now if you observe how many transistors are there then you see in static cmos if we talk about n mos then n mos is made up of pull down network so there there are k inputs so we can say there can be k number of n mos and if we talk about p mos then pull up network is made up of p mos so with k input there can be k number of p mos and as if we talk about dynamic cmos then in that if we calculate total number of n mos then with this k number of inputs with this pull down network there can be k n mos plus one gated clock n mos is there and if we talk about p mos then only one gated clock p mos is there so number of transistors that is less in dynamic c mos and major effect that is there because of p mos p mos is less as p mos size is more here static c mos circuit is having larger size that one can say right and here you can say in dynamic cmos only one pmos is there so size of dynamic cmos that will be less now when we talk about capacitive loading then capacitive loading that is happening more due to pmos as pmos size is more right so in static cmos capacitive loading will be more and in dynamic cmos only one pmos is there so capacitive loading is less and one more thing that we can say because of more pmos which is there in this static cmos switching characteristic is slower while due to only one pmos is there in dynamic cmos switching characteristic is faster now there are some disadvantages which is there with dynamic cmos see when we connect dynamic cmos in cascading at that time there is a possibility of false operation so there are cascading issues which is there in dynamic cmos and those cascading issues that is not there in static cmos now when we see operation of dynamic cmos then it is compulsory to have precharge by this gated clock while that precharge is not required in static cmos so in dynamic cmos we need to have precharge for operation and in static cmos we don't need precharge for operation if you see my previous videos based on dynamic cmos and static cmos then in dynamic cmos i have told when you have output is equals to logic 
at that time output stays in high impedance mode right while over here in static cmos as if you have output is equals to logic 1 then it does not have high impedance mode right and because of that you will be finding output is equals to logic 1 in dynamic cmos affected by noise with larger extent right so noise immunity is lower in case of dynamic CMOS compared to static CMOS. Now when we talk about working of dynamic CMOS then in its working if you observe my previous videos then I have explained because of charge sharing there is a leakage of charge which happens in dynamic CMOS while leakage of charge that does not happen in static CMOS. So if you see overall comparison then dynamic CMOS is faster it is there with lower switching time characteristic as well as capacitive loading effect is less and size of circuit is small. As if we talk about static CMOS then it is slower in its switching characteristic because of more number of PMOS as well as it is having higher loading capacitance because of PMOS structure and its size is even large compared to dynamic CMOS but this static CMOS does not have issues of cascading and leakage of capacitance while that is there with dynamic CMOS. So this is how comparison is there with static CMOS and dynamic CMOS. I hope that you have understood this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. The reason is your suggestions matters to me and based on that in future, I'll be making videos which will be solving your queries. So please do give your valuable suggestions. Thank you so much.